What's up, YouTube? It's your boy C-SPAN Curry, and I'm coming to you with another technical unboxing of another great product that I've introduced into my home. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Hopefully you can see, hopefully you can see the information is beneficial and something that you can use and hey, make that purchase decision on your own. Nothing like getting a little bit of information before going out there and making that big leap. So let's get into it. As you can see right here, I got three big old boxes. I saw all these boxes, I was like, what in the hell did I order? But it turns out, I, I, I ordered a, a, a camera system from Lorex and it looks like they shipped everything individually. You got your cables in one box, you got the DVR in one box, and you got your cameras in one box. So let's get this crap unboxed out of the big boxes and lay it all out so you can check it out. All right guys, so as you can see right here, this is the system that I purchased off of Lorex's website, along with all the, of the specifications right here. Let's just go down this list right here and see exactly what I purchased here so that you can get some better insight on why I made this purchase, why I chose to make this purchase, and so on. All right, check it out, guys. We are now on the Lorex website. And as you can see, they got a lot of great offers, deals going on right now that you should take advantage of. 15% off all security cameras with code SAVE15. All right, so I actually did take advantage of that code and that code is on top of this price here. So $14.99 plus that code, it's gonna bring it down around 12 something. So definitely take advantage of that. But yeah, 16 channel 4K and VR, eight outdoor 4K, eight megapixel IP fix, 30 frame per second, real time format, nocturnal cameras with color night vision and audio recording. All right, so as you can see here, 30 frames per second, real time, that mean in all formats, all resolutions, it's recording 30 frames per second. You know, some cameras are advertised 30 frames per second, but then you realize it being a 4K camera, it only records 30 frames per second when it's set to 2K. So pay attention to stuff like that when you are making your purchase. All right, so this is 16 channels, upgradable up to 16 channels, comes with eight cameras, is upgradable up to 16 cameras, has 275 feet of night vision, Three, tetra, three tetrabyte hard drive, expandable up to 16 tetrabytes. Um, yeah, and it's compatible with the Lorex Cloud app. I'm telling you this app is awesome. It allows you to set, create settings and create masks and fences, geofences and all that stuff with Breeze, set notifications for people intruding within the proximity of the cameras. Um, 4K security cameras with over 8 million pixels. I mean, as you already know, 4K is phenomenal. And if you're recording 30 frames per second, you're gonna see everything, the pictures. I mean, every little detail, it's gonna be awesome. So I can't wait to share some of that footage with you guys. But like I say, infrared night vision, no more grainy footage. You know, it's gonna be all, it's gonna look like just like this video right here. As you can see right here, this is a night shot and it is awesome. It's in, I believe it's, in, what do you call it all? You know what it is when it's set up the laps, it's set up for laps right now. All right, color night vision. For an added level of nighttime protection, nocturnal security cameras can also capture color footage thanks to our state-of-the-art color night vision CNC, CNV technology brings extra details of light, like color of cars and stuff like that. It has a very large image sensor, which is gonna, uh, you know, it's gonna illuminate that sensor and it's gonna just make images pop so much better it's just gonna be you're not gonna have to worry about a ghosting effect my previous dvr system it was ghosting like everything on this video screen had a like had an overlay of the same exact thing and it was so aggravating so you shouldn't have that i mean this has a pretty nice large image sensor on it which is gonna filter out a lot of that noise that's pretty much a bunch of noise that you're getting included in your video when you have that ghosting effect going on. It has an active mechanical lens filter as you can see the difference in how it brings forth true color and makes things just look so much more clearer, easier to identify and not get things confused as far as colors of certain things that like vehicles and clothing or things of such. Like I say 30 frames per second real-time recording rate. 4k resolution video 30 frames per second at on all screen move, it appears realistically smooth, so there's no chance of missing important moments because of choppy footage. As you can see, 30 frames per second for all resolutions. You can go as low as one megapixel, which is 720, all the way up to eight megapixels, which is 4K. Enhanced security monitoring with HDR. 
you can turn that off and on no problems at all all right so let's see all right so we're going to go down here let's see you got increased clarity and low light settings with the dnr you can turn that off and on so be sure when you set up your camera system you're going into your settings and enabling all these awesome features you have your built-in microphone which allows two-way communication uh, it's all it's an all-weather security camera it can be a sub-zero weather it has a heat rating 140 degrees fahrenheit six degrees celsius and a cold rating of a net negative 22 degrees fahrenheit and an ip67 water rating it has a durable metal camera how camera housing and as i said it's compatible with the lorex cloud mobile app um, installation customization have videos and material on the website that help you with that as well as understanding 2k and 4k and power or ethernet technology i also have a hard drive calculator you can put the amount of time and it helps you calculate how much of a hard drive size you're going to need and it's also a high efficiency video codec which is going to allow you a pretty good compression rate while still keeping the fine details of your recordings all right we got privacy masking also which is going to allow you to block out little details such as the window as you can see there flashing black and white you can block out little areas where you feel like you don't want that to be displayed in case you should have to hand over some footage to somebody for some reason for forensics to review it you have your automatic firmware updates um, this right here is an image resolution comparison which just shows you the difference between the 4k you got your 2K right here, which is going to see, as you can see, a lot has been cropped out. Go back to 4K. You got a lot more. The image is so much sharper. And this 2K is going to crop in a whole lot more. And the image is not as sharp. I'm sure you can see that. We're going to go to 1080p. As you can see, it's cropped some more. And the image is slightly, I'm sure you're seeing this, it's nowhere near as sharp as it was. And then we get here to 720p. It's just you know you see it but you're not really seeing a whole lot once someone get the walking around and things of that nature it's going to look horrible so that's the differences right there 720 1080 2k you at least want 2k that's five megapixels and then you got your 4k right here which is eight megapixels you see the difference look at that fence right there compared to each one those are the fine details you're going to want okay all right so we get down here it tells you a little bit about it. it tells you the megapixel of each one video which is digital IP RJ45 connection of course 1080 analog MPX right here installation connect cameras to VR to the router connect cameras to VR to a router and so on and so on resolution 4k 2k just goes on and on there's no monthly fees with or without the internet, it still works. It's a standalone system. It connects to, directly to TVs and monitors, as you saw on the this pre, on this unboxing, or see, as you will see on this unboxing, the connection boards on the back. Um, 4K HD resolution, 24/7, 100% duty cycle hard drive, which is already installed in the Lorex Cloud Connection apps, which you're going to be able to access for free. All right, just download the app and you can stream all of your stuff, no problems, free, completely free. This is what I love about it. All right. So you got these other camera systems, you know, like Ring and things like that. They got you paying all this money. You know, you can buy you a cloud backup um, hard drive as well, where you can back all that stuff up online, on online and access it like a Dropbox. So look into that as well. All right. Here are some more specifications. Just more broken down into a list. Real time recording supports industry leading 4K. 816 built-in PoE ports, um, Lorex Cloud Out, PC Mac compatible, 24/7 security grade hard drive, expandable up to 16 terabytes, tetrabytes, automatically detects compatible IP cameras in the network. H265 264 compression offers reduced file size and improved network performance for remote viewing. Mirror hard drive, which means you can secure your recordings by backing up footage to an internal hard drive, while at the same time recording to the primary hard drive. <clears throat> Pentaplex operation, which allows you to view, record, playback, backup, and remotely control the system simultaneously. You can do a whole lot all at one time without stopping the footage of recording. You know, you can view it, not have to worry about being unsecure so while viewing it. Click and drag digital zoom in live view and playback, convenient front panel button controls, 
accurate timestamp with NTP and daylight savings time, instant backup of live video to the USB flash drive, which works very well. I used that on my other system. And it's compatible, is it compatible with Adobe? I'm sure, I'm sure it is. Not 100%. Push notifications of motion events, works great. Instant email alerts, multi-streaming to conserve bandwidth, continuous schedule, motion recording, dual video outputs, HDMI cable included for some connection as you will see in the unboxing. All right, guys. Night vision up to 275 feet, color night vision, full color nighttime video for improved recognition of objects. Um, intelligent compression, wide angle, 111 degrees, field of view, ceiling, wall mount, simple camera installation, um, 60 foot of cable, single screw brackets, cold climate, weatherproof, and that goes on and on. Even has a video here that tells you how to install the video. Continues to offer great solutions for all your security needs. Part of the nocturnal. All right, you can view that video on their website. Awesome reviews, as you can see here. So just go online, check out the website, and see what it's all about. Um, the camera system that I do have, again, is the 4K HDI PI, I'm sorry, 4K HDI P168i. All right, and regularly priced at $2,079, currently priced at $1,499.99, in which you can also apply a 20, a 15% discount, which will save you an additional 300 bucks or something like that. I'm not sure, but go on there and check it out, guys. This is your boy, C-Spec Curry. Let's get back to this unboxing. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox our cables. Well, really, we're not gonna. Yeah, that's all we're gonna do is unbox them, okay? Well, this is a Cat5 system. You know, PoE, power over ethernet system. So this is what we got here. This is what the cable looks like. I know you're used to your, your traditional coax cable, but this is all we got to run right here. One network cable for each camera. 60 feet of Cat5e network cable. One piece. And we have two, four, six, eight. We have eight reels of this cable. As you can see right here. Eight reels of cable. That's going to make it a lot easier as far as running your wire. It's not as thick and it's a lot more reliable connection because I was so tired of that coax that BNC connection. It's just ridiculous. All right, so we got our, we got that out of the way. Next thing we're gonna do is unbox some cameras, guys. Let's get some cameras unboxed. Now, all of them are the same, so I think I'm just gonna unbox a couple of the cameras. Maybe not even a couple, just maybe one, just for the sake of redundancy. I don't wanna be unboxing the exact same thing over and over like a nightmare. So we're gonna save ourselves that drama and just unbox one of these babies. Why did I just use the razor blade? All right, that's our camera right there. And this is a technical beast, as you saw in the specifications that I just Finish going over with you. 30 frames per second, 250 foot night vision camera. It's a fixed camera, but it's a beastie camera. Um, yes, indeed it is. So let's take a look at it. It's a completely metal case. It records sounds, allows you to listen in as well. Um, and, and allows you to do two way communication. You can communicate through the camera is what I meant to say. Let's pop this out of the bag here. There go. Pull that baby out. Voila. It has a hoodie. So you know you can protect, keep your camera protected from the elements. Loosen that baby up a little bit. You know, it don't go too far, I guess, but I mean, it has a nice effect to it. It looks nice and cool. Cool look, we'll leave that on there. Remove protective film before use. Definitely do that guys, or you're gonna have some very crappy video, okay? So, yeah. That's what the connection looks like there. It has an ethernet connection right there. And I guess this is if you didn't, if you needed power, but it's power over ethernet, so. We're not gonna need this connection here. All right, so 
Let's get this out of the way. All right, so each camera is gonna come with a sticker, letting you know there's 24 hour protection, video surveillance. Um, just pretty much it just tells you the installation instructions, some audio settings you can go through, package contents, mounting kit, mounting template. So that's great guys. It comes with a mounting template where you can affix to your house so that you can make sure that you mount the camera properly in the right orientation. All right, 4K Ultra HD IR bullet IP camera, mounting kit, mountain template. Let's see, using an RJ45 cable gland. RJ45 cable gland covers the camera's ethernet connector and the RJ45 plug to provide weather resistant and protective from dust, dirt, and other environmental contaminants. The gland, blah, 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 okay. So, let's see, the RJ45 is weather resistant, cable extension options. Let's see, Cat5 or higher Ethernet cable. Max cable run distance is 300 feet. Max number of extensions is three. So you could actually run up to 300 feet of cable and still get a good connection on your camera, which is pretty interesting. That's a lot of distance. All right, connecting the camera. Let's see. As you see, that power connection is optional. Connecting the camera, use connect Ethernet on both sides. And note, the 12 volt DC power adapter not included, it's only required if connecting the camera's ethernet cable to a router or switch that does not support PoE. So if a camera, the, the, the router or switch doesn't you know, support it, then in that case, you would need the power. But in our case, everything is compatible as a system. So we're good to go, okay? So let's see. That's your mounting hardware, it's your screws. These are your anchors right here, guys, for, surf for surfaces where the mounting isn't as stable. And pretty much what I was talking about in my other video when I mounted my router anchors that you need, those are the anchors. But I showed you in that video as well, so no worries. So as you can see, I got a lot of work ahead of me because I'm gonna be putting this system up myself. All right, so we got eight more, seven more cameras like that. Next thing we're gonna do is unbox this DVR. And yes, this was the only box in that big old box. It was full of these airbags that my four-year-old found to be pretty exciting to pop every single one of them last night. So now what we have here is our Lorex DVR. And it, it is time to get this baby unboxed. Let's see what's inside this behemoth of a box here. This has to be the most monstrous DVR I've ever owned based on the size of the box. All right, guys, so as you can see, we do have our quick setup guide here included along with a bunch of different manuals for different languages, I'm pretty sure of. And let's see, have our warranty information, quick setup guide, remote access guide, and then you have your different language guys. You have some more stickers, letting, their, letting the people know it's 24 hour surveillance in this household. And yeah, it looks like everything we have so far. Comes with some batteries right here, as well as some connections right here that I'm pretty sure are get affixed to the DVR. All right, so this is the monster DVR here. Definitely not gonna be able to put it in my original location that my previous DVR was in because this is a beast. It has a three terabyte, three tetrabyte hard drive. And yes, it is a monster. It has a cooling fan, has 16 channels, which we got eight cameras included with this system. You have your HDMI port, VTA, RS-232, you know, yeah, old school, you know, and you got your high speed USB connections, your Ethernet connection, you have your in and outs for your mic, 
And yes, this is pretty dope. All right, very nice. This here is where you include your connections for, I'm pretty sure that's for audio also, but I'll get more into that when I check it out some more. <clears throat> All right, so that is our DVR right there, guys. And as you can see, it is one monster of a DVR. Right here is where we have all of our other accessories. We have a power cord. We have some other cord that comes with it, as well as an HDMI cord. You have an ethernet cord. You have your power supply in here. No, no, you get a mouse. Of course, the cord here is our power supply. And then you get a remote control, okay? So, yes. Your pretty basic stuff that you get with your DVR, so let's just throw this in that box also. Whew. YouTube family, as you can see, that was one epic unboxing. Oh man, all these boxes, I'm tired, you know? Now I ain't do that much work on the real though, but yo, what I'm about to do, I'm about to get this camera system I'm about to start putting these cameras up, you know. I'm not gonna be able to knock all this out in one day. A lot of cable I gotta run, but I'm gonna try to get these cameras mounted in that direction, the angles that I wanna get them mounted. And from that point, you know, that includes the video, you know. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you saw everything has been insightful. As far as installation, you know, you can call, you can look in the phone, but you can pay somebody to easily come out and mount your cameras. You order your system, get a professional to come out and do the installation for you if you don't feel as technical as, you know, as a, if you're not the type of person to get out there and do it, just pay, just pay somebody, you know? It's not worth getting out there and destroying your system or anything like that, trying to be a do-it-yourself. Or if you don't really have that do-it-yourself mentality in your blood, Okay, it ain't gotta be in your blood, you know, anyway. But this is your boy c Spade Kurt. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Let everybody you know whose packages got stolen sometime this year. Hey, check this system out. It records 30 frames per second. That's real time, okay? So you're gonna see a lot of camera footage that people post, you know, that looks horrible, grainy. When they pause it, it the, the still picture looks blurry. That's because they're probably they probably got a seven frame per second camera. You know, one of those real horrible cheap systems. You can have a 4K DVR system and still have a seven frame per second camera. Make sure you're looking at the specifications of these products when you're buying these products, guys. I can't emphasize enough. You think you're getting something that's all great and the specifications of the items included are horrible. Seven frames per second, you can't see anything with that, okay? Might as well not, might as well not even be recorded. But anyway, it's your boy C-Spec Kerr. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'm out of here. Peace.